Welcome back to JFM Wrestling. Today we are going to go back over every Royal Rumble winner ever starting with the very first event in 1988. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Like previously mentioned, the first event was in 1988 in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. The winner was Hacksaw Jim Duggan who entered at number 13. The last person he threw out of the Royal Rumble was the one-man gang. Two interesting facts about this Rumble, one it only featured 20 wrestlers and two, it was not on pay-per-view and was a TV special airing on the USA Network. The 1989 Rumble match was held in Houston, Texas and would go on to be similar to the structure we see today in that this was the first year the event had 30 wrestlers and was on pay-per-view. The winner of this event was Big John Studd winning from the 27th spot and eliminating the Million Dollar Man. The 1990 winner was Hulk Hogan coming from number 25 and tossing out Mr. Perfect for the win. This rumble occurred from Orlando, Florida. In 1991, the Royal Rumble returned to Florida, this time Miami and the Hulkster went back-to-back -back throwing out Earthquake after Hulk started from number 24. He became the first two-time winner in the young event's life. 1992 brought us an increase in stakes for the Royal Rumble, as the winner would be awarded the WWF Championship. Taking place from Albany, New York, Nature Boy Ric Flair entered at number 3 and lasted until the end to eliminate Sid Justice for the win and the title. The stakes again changed in 1993 into what we still have to this day, the winner of the Royal Rumble going on to WrestleMania to challenge for the WWF or now WWE title. This rumble was in Sacramento, California, and Yokozuna, the 27th entrant, would go on to eliminate Randy Savage and punch his ticket to WrestleMania's main event. The 1994 rumble match from Providence, Rhode Island brought us another first, co-winners. Lex Luger entered at 23 and Bret Hart entered at 27. Both went over and to the floor simultaneously and we declared co-winners. I have them here listed as eliminating each other. More firsts occurred in 1995's Royal Rumble from Tampa, Florida as the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels punched his ticket to go and live the boyhood dream at WrestleMania by eliminating the British Bulldog. Michaels started from the very first position in the match and was the first to ever go coast to coast. In 1996, Sean was able to repeat his Rumble winner, being the second two-time and second back-to-back -back winner. This event took place in Fresno, California, where he entered at 18, and in the end, he eliminated Diesel. 1997 brought us to San Antonio, Texas for the pay-per-view. Its winner started at number 5. He last eliminated Bret Hart, and his name was Stone Cold Steve Austin. The next year, 1998, brought the event to San Jose, California. But we got the same result with Stone Cold eliminating The Rock last after Austin joined at number 24, and he became the third two-time winner and third back-to-back -back winner. We had some weirdness from the 1999 Rumble match that took place in Anaheim, California. The winner was Vince McMahon from the two spot. He eliminated Austin at the end to win, but he did not go on to WrestleMania to challenge for the title. That was decided the next night on Monday Night Raw. New Year and New Millennium, the 2000 Royal Rumble from New York City saw The Rock enter at number 24 and win by eliminating The Big Show. 2001 brought us our first three-time winner, as Stone Cold Steve Austin made history in New Orleans, Louisiana by eliminating Kane to become the only three-time winner. His entry number was 27. Triple H managed to win finally in 2002, when the Rumble event was in Atlanta, Georgia. He came into the match at number 22, and in the end he eliminated Kurt Angle to go on to WrestleMania. The following year, 2003, in Boston, Massachusetts, the number 29 entrant, a very young Brock Lesnar, managed to throw out The Undertaker to win his first Royal Rumble. Our second person to enter at number one and last all the way to the end and win was Chris Benoit in 2004. He eliminated the big show at the end and won the Royal Rumble in front of the crowd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
The Rumble in 2005 was again back in Fresno, California. This would be the year the 28th entrant would go on to victory, that 28th entrant being Dave Batista. This was not without controversy, though. The final two were John Cena and Dave Batista. The finish of the match involved both going over and touching the floor at the same time. This time we would not have co-winners, though, and Mr. McMahon ordered the match restarted, where Batista managed to throw Cena over the top for the win. The 2006 Royal Rumble match was won by Rey Mysterio, who happened to be one of the two men to start the match, officially beginning as entrant number two. This Rumble match took place from Miami, Florida, and it ended with Ray tossing out Randy Orton. The winner of the 2007 Rumble was the first to come from the final position in the Rumble, number 30. The Undertaker won by tossing out Shawn Michaels in Shawn's hometown to win the match. 2008 saw one of the bigger surprise returns and another number 30 winner, as John Cena returned to Madison Square Garden in New York City where he threw out Triple H to get the win. The next year, 2009, saw Triple H as the last man eliminated again, this time by rival Randy Orton, who started at number 8 and who walked out of Detroit and into the main event of WrestleMania. The start of a new decade being 2010 brought the event back to Atlanta, Georgia, where entry 29 edge threw John Cena out to win the match. The 2011 Royal Rumble really brought a radical change to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view and the Rumble match itself. As WWE pushed the number of entrants up to 40 meaning we have our one and only winner from the 38th spot in Alberto Del Rio. In front of the crowd in Boston, the Royal Rumble came down to the very unlikely duo of Santino Morella and Alberto with Del Rio getting the victory. The next year, 2012, brought the show to St. Louis, Missouri, where Sheamus, the number 22 entrant, eliminated Chris Jericho. The fourth two-time winner came in 2013 in front of the Phoenix, Arizona crowd, where number 19 John Cena eliminated Ryback. Our fifth two-time winner came one year later in 2014 in Pittsburgh. Number 28 Dave Batista eliminated Roman Reigns to head off to WrestleMania. The 2015 winner was the 2014 runner-up as Roman Reigns was the 19th entrant and eliminated Rusev. The event location this year stayed in Pennsylvania but moved from Pittsburgh the year before to Philadelphia this year. 2016's winner was the third to win from 30 and was the sixth two-time winner. Triple H won the match in Orlando, Florida by throwing out Dean Ambrose. This rumble also marked the second time the world championship was up for grabs in the match. More two-time winners, as our seventh happened in San Antonio, Texas during the 2017 Royal Rumble. The number 23 entered Randy Orton throughout Roman Reigns and claimed victory. The year 2018 brought a major change to the pay-per-view for the crowd in Philadelphia with the addition of a women's rumble match along with the men's. We'll start with the men's first. It came down to Roman Reigns and the 14th entrant Shinsuke Nakamura with Shin getting the win. The women's match was won by entrant 25 Asuka who eliminated Nikki Bella. The 2019 Rumble was held in Phoenix, Arizona and won by a married couple. The men's winner was entrant 10 Seth Rollins, who eliminated Braun Strowman and the women's winner was number 28 Becky Lynch, who eliminated Charlotte Flair. The start of the next decade with 2020 brought the dark times with the pandemic. The event happened in Houston, Texas, and the winner Drew McIntyre, the number 16 entrant, eliminated Roman Reigns. On the women's side, Charlotte Flair, the 17th entrant, won by eliminating Shayna Baszler. The Royal Rumble in 2021 was from Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. On the men's side, the number one entrant would go on to win, marking the third time that has happened. Edge would go the distance and eliminate his friend Randy Orton to win. On the women's side, we had the number three entrant Bianca Belair set the record for longest time in a rumble match for the women as she lasted to the end to throw out Rhea Ripley. 
2022 brought the event to St. Louis again where we would have our ninth two-time winner from the men. The number 30 entered Brock Lesnar throughout Drew to win the match. Brock holds the distinction for longest time between Rumble wins at 19 years. He also holds the honor of least amount of time in the Rumble for a winner, clocking in at two and a half minutes during this match. The women's winner was another former UFC fighter. Ronda Rousey won from position number 28 eliminating Charlotte Flair. One of the most popular spots to host a Rumble event is San Antonio, Texas, and it was the home to the 2023 edition. For the men, the winner this year was a superstar returning from injury and entering at number 30. His name is Cody Rhodes, and he eliminated Gunter to win. On the women's side, they had their first coast-to-coast -coast winner as the number one entered Rhea Ripley won by tossing out Liv Morgan at the end. Who will win this year and add their name to this list? We'll find out soon. Well, that will do it for today's video. If you have made it this far, please smash a like on this video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.